a lot of people have these misconceptions of what New Jersey is like because of a certain TV show. Every time I go somewhere and I tell people I'm from New Jersey, they're like, oh my gosh, you must fist pump and have this giant hair and you're orange and you're this and you're that. And I'm like, no, that's not what we're really like. And I actually grew up at the shore. So I know what New Jersey shore people are actually like. And we're not like what you see on TV at all. We're really laid back. We really just spend our days laying on the beach and then grabbing lunch up in West Long Branch or down at Avon. So I really want to spread, spread the message that we're not like those people you see on TV. I've been doing pageants since I was five years old and I am a pageant girl and I am proud of it. But because of that I used to get bullied because of my fake hair that was like one of the things that girls love to make fun of me for. But I never let it get me down because pageants really helped me develop this confidence and this self-esteem. It gave me the presentation skills and it's really helped me with what I want to do with my career. So they could say whatever they want because I'm really proud to be a pageant girl. Dance has been the biggest part of my life. I've won numerous dance scholarships and titles with it, and I also relate every single thing that I do in my life to dance. Whenever I'm mad or stressed out or upset, you will find me dancing. My most vivid memory is waking up at six o'clock in the morning when I was nine years old, and my mom and dad weren't there. They were gone, and I was all alone in my house. I started crying, and all of a sudden I hear this voice in my living room, Michelle, and it was my grandmother, Gia. And she was like, your mom and dad went to the hospital. My mom was pregnant. I had been begging my parents for years for a sister. And finally, on June 12, 2000, my sister Lainey was born. And I actually named her. I got her name from the movie She's All That. 